In this video we're going to learn how to create a macro. Now a macro is defined as an action or set of actions that you can use to automate tasks. In this example we're going to have a macro that will open up the switchboard form. So we click on create, move across to macro and up here under action we need to choose open form so we click the down arrow move all the way down to open form now currently it doesn't know which form you want to open so we move down to the section action arguments and under form name click in there click the down arrow we have two forms we want it to open up the switchboard so we'll select select switchboard and now I'm going to close down this macro and click yes. It wants a name. In this case I'm going to call it auto exec. Don't worry about the reason why I'm calling it that for now. I'll explain that later. I'm just going to click OK. So we can see our first macro created here. If we double click that macro, you can see it's opened up the switchboard form as we anticipated. Now, there's something special about the auto exec macro, or the name, when you give a name auto exec to a macro. What it means is whenever you start the database, it will automatically run that macro. If it's called anything else, the macro won't automatically run. So, let's see an example of that. First thing I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is close this database down. Next, I'm just going to reopen the database and watch what happens. The database opens, it automatically runs this macro and the switchboard opens. So you can see how useful this macro can be if you want to develop yourself an application that will always have a switchboard as soon as you launch that Microsoft Access file. Currently in our AutoExec macro, if I right mouse click it and go to Design View, you can see we've only got one action. But let's add a few more just so you get a feel for how it works. Let's click down there and let's say we also want it to open up the client's form. So click open form, click down here and choose clients. Next let's have the macro go to the last record in the form. Normally whenever you open a form it will display the first record but in this case you want it to show the very last record. Let's close that down, save the changes, let's close the switchboard and double click on auto exec. As you can see it's opened up the switchboard the client's form and it's also gone to the last record. So that is how we create a macro and a series of steps to perform which you want to perform.